Hey guys, if you're looking for a quick 10 minute yoga routine to help you wind down in the evening and get better sleep, this is it. No flexibility required, no yoga experience required, no equipment required. Just follow along and do your best. We're going to get started in a child's pose, uh, and I'll show you what that looks like right now. So child's pose, you're going to have your hands at about shoulder width distant near the top of your mat. Bring your knees wide, as wide as the mat, about two feet, big toes touching, and then bring your butt back toward your heels the best you can. Your butt doesn't have to touch, and then relax your forehead to the ground. If your forehead doesn't touch, that's okay. Just make sure that it's comfortable. And as you're doing this, I want you to focus on slowing down your breathing. So breathe in and out of your nose. And exhale through the nose. And you should feel your shoulders start to stretch here. You should start to calm down. Pay attention to where you've got tension. So if you your face isn't relaxed, if you notice that your abs are really tense or your forehead or your teeth, use your exhale to help let that tension go and start winding down. And as you're going through this routine, if you can focus on your slow controlled breathing, you can focus on your body awareness, noticing how the stretches affect your body then you're going to finish this 10-minute routine feeling much more relaxed than when you started. A couple more breaths in child's pose. And then from here, moving into a needle thread. So you're going to slide your left hand between your right hand and your right knee. Try to keep your butt back toward your heels. Relax the side of your head down. Relax your shoulder on the ground. Lightly push down through your right hand just in front of your face. It's creating a little bit of a twist. And then you're going to drive your left hand into the ground while pulling it back toward the left so you feel a stretch through your mid-back, the back of your shoulder blade. We're twisted, but I still want you to do your best to breathe in and out of your nose here. That's going to help you stay relaxed, get more relaxed. But it will also help with increasing your shoulder flexibility. And that's going to help with neck tension, shoulder tension, and it can even help with tension headaches. One more breath here. and then release and switch sides. So left hand is in front of the left knee. You're going to slide your right hand between your left hand and your left knee now. Release that right shoulder to the ground. Relax your head down. If you notice that you can't get quite get your shoulder all the way to the ground, that's okay. Just do your best and make sure that you're getting a stretch through the back of the shoulder blade. And you're going to do that by pressing the right arm into the ground and then lightly pulling it back toward the right. Make sure that your head is relaxed, your neck is relaxed, and do your best to keep your butt back toward your heels. If it comes forward a little bit, that's okay, but by keeping your butt back, you're going to focus on your back and your neck a little bit more. Breathe in and out of your nose. I'm going to say that a lot, but most people tend to forget that. Don't feel bad if you forget. That's okay. That's really normal. The more that you can be aware of your breathing, the better. So even if you just remember that you're supposed to be focused on your breathing, that's progress. One more breath here. All right, and then release. Come back into that kneeling position. Go ahead and just take a moment, take a couple deep breaths in and out of the nose. Notice how your neck, your shoulders, your back feel a little bit better. And we're going to keep getting more and more relaxed as this routine goes on. So stick with it until the end. Step your right leg forward. We're going to go into a relaxed lunge here. So right leg forward. Keep your back toes tucked. Bring your hands on top of your thighs. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And then as you exhale, sink forward. Just really relax with this. Don't focus at all on technique. Just allowing yourself to go forward, 
feeling the stretch for the hips. Take a big breath in, lift your chest just a little bit. And then as you exhale, allow your chin to relax in toward the throat and let your head look down. So just keeping a really nice relaxed position for your head and neck, making sure there's no tension through the shoulders, stretching out your hips. If it feels good for you, maybe bringing your hands to the ground. Just choosing whatever variation just feels the best for you, helps you feel the most relaxed. Stretching out your hips is going to help with releasing tension through your back and also in your knees. And this is the most active pose of this routine, so it's only going to get easier from here. One more breath. All right, relax, switch sides, left leg forward, right leg back now. Again, tuck the back toes. Allow your hips to sink forward. Bring your hands, if it feels good, you can bring your hands to the ground. Just make sure that your back isn't rounding. But you can start with your hands on your thighs. This is just going to help you get a really nice hip stretch. And when you eventually relax all the way, that's just going to make it that much more rewarding. So we're here for about 45 seconds total. In general, you want to hold a pose for at least 30 seconds, but it's going to be better if you can do it for 45 to 60 seconds. And most of the people that I work with are guys in their 40s, 50s, 60s. If you're not in your 20s anymore, you're going to have to hold the poses a little bit longer in order for those stretches to be effective. So just keep that in mind. And also, if you're moving less, if you've got a desk job, you're going to have to hold those poses a little bit longer, too. One more breath. All right. And then release. We're going to take it onto our back for the last section of these poses. Stick with it to the end. This is going to feel really great on your back, your hips, your knees, but especially on the back. This last pose, the next one, is what you should be doing every day. So you're going to do a happy baby first. You're going to grab the outside of your right foot. Do your best to keep your back flat on the ground here. And if you notice that your back is coming off the ground, then I'm going to have you maybe grab the inside of your shin instead. I just want to make sure that your back isn't coming off the ground here. So grab the outsides of your feet if possible. Maybe you're grabbing the shins. Lie down on your back. And then use your elbows. Drive your elbows into your knees to help open the hips and get that stretch to the inner thighs. Again, try to keep your low back flat on the ground here. Don't let it come up off the ground, because that can cause issues like herniated disc. It can cause chronic back pain, and we don't want to do that. If you can, get your head on the ground. If you notice that it's coming up off the ground, you can put a pillow or a block behind the head. And if you're still having trouble gripping your feet or your shins here, you can put a strap around the soles of your feet, a yoga strap, and that's going to help. Or just grab the shins. And we're here for about 60 seconds. Sometimes it's nice. You can kind of rock from side to side here to help release. But this is mainly a stretch for your groin. And that's going to connect to your back. And so this is going to help with relieving back pain. Keep that breathing slow and controlled. You got one more breath. All right. And then relax the feet down. Moving into a reclined twist. Bring your knees above your hips. Bring your arms straight out to the sides. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, bring your legs over toward the right. Try to keep the left shoulder down. If you can't, that's OK. That's normal. And then bring your right hand on top of your left knee. Look all the way over toward the left. Take a deep breath in. Try to fill up for your entire torso all the way from the hips up through your rib cage. And then as you exhale, allow that twist to go deeper. And feel that stretch. About 45 seconds here. If you spend time at a desk during the day, this is a pose that I would recommend you do every night. So the more consistent with you are with these stretches, the more effective it's going to be. If you have chronic back pain, uh, if you have bad posture from sitting at a desk, you're going to want to make sure you're doing these poses at least three times per week. So try and figure out a time where it works in your schedule, where you feel motivated, where you have free time, where there's not other stuff going on, and see, see if you can make it a habit. 
and that's going to be the best way to notice long-term results. All right, bring it back to the middle. Knees over the hips once more, arms the outside. As you exhale, bring the legs over to the left. Nice and slow. Bring your left hand to the right knee. Keep that right shoulder down if you can. If it comes up a little bit, that's fine. That's normal. It's going to take some time for your body to adjust. The more you can do the poses, the more frequently, and the longer you hold them with focus on breathing and proper technique, the more significant your results are going to be. Again, I recommend at least three times per week, but these little stretches that you're doing here, this is something that you can do every night. So save this video, like it, add it to your favorites, whatever it is, share it with yourself, with a friend, and then just try to do it as often as you can, and you'll notice you're feeling a lot better, feeling more relaxed as you do this routine more and more frequently. Last breath here. All right, and then come back. You can either sit down, lay down, take a little nap there. It's called a corpse pose or a final resting pose. If you've got stuff to do, go ahead and get up. Uh, guys, I've got another longer routine for this that I think you'll really like. It's a 35-minute routine. It's also um, it's actually made for anxiety and depression, but it's a lot of the same principles that we incorporate here, the body awareness, the breathing. Check that out here for free on the Manful Yoga YouTube channel. Again, I think you're really going to like that. Make sure you like this video. If you found it helpful, leave a comment or a question. If you have some feedback, subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. We put out new videos every Tuesday morning at 9 a.m. Uh, and uh, I hope to see you on another video soon. Take care.